All right, I'm on hole number five of the 2020 major. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Hole number five. Let's see if I can get the right one. Okay, there are several ways that you can go with this. Um, one of the things that I can do in this account, because I have an extra mile nine, is I can come down here and you can do a rough bump off of this and bleed out and get into your short iron range. And that's the shot that I'm going to try here. Um, the last time I was here, I ended up in the sand and you can easily get up from here. But if you want the shot, if you want the really good shot to get up there with your short iron, you don't want to end up in the sand or the rough. You need to be on the fairway. I'm going to try this shot one more time. The last time I tried it, I ended up in the sand and that's no bueno. If that, if that happens to me again here, I'm just going to do the layup to the left. So I have a nice clean shot so I can work on that shot as the week goes on. Hole number five, I'm going to use a... If I go down to that area down there, I'm going to use a kingmaker. Help cut the wind down. I'm using an extra mile. And I should be in my hornet range, possibly my grizzly, but the whole goal of doing this particular shot is to end up in your hornet range, not your grizzly range. Otherwise, I might as well take the shot to the left and I will end up in a nice, clean, super, super nice grizzly shot. I'm seeing a lot of people hit down below. The thing about the thing about going down below is it is your shot coming into the green. There is a rough bump that you can do if you take the shot to the right. There is a rough bump that you can do coming into the cup. If you don't like that rough bump and you want to engage the fairway, it's so close to the pin that you'll have to bring you'll have to bring a club that's got backspin. Saturn and that bag just in case I got down into my short iron range. I'd probably bring Claw or Thorn. No opponents. All right. This is the thing about people bitching about, well, you guys have upper developed clubs. I may, I may play you out here on the hole, but you're definitely not in my bracket. If you're not an expert, you're not in my bracket. And if you rushed yourself to expert and you still got low level clubs and you went up there and you got to, and you're not going to get to expert until you get to T7. So if you ran as fast as you could to get to T7 and you're up at T7 and you see me um, and you have an expert rating, then you're the one that rushed up into that bracket. You wanted to, you wanted to get to expert in the divisional stuff so that you would get more club cards in your chest. And that's fine. I totally get it. But if that's the case, and then you're playing against X, and then you're playing in an expert bracket, you're going to play against people who are expert rated. People talk about the masters coming down and playing in a rookie. I can guarantee you, you may run into a master out on the course, but you're definitely, if you're not a master, you're definitely not in the same bracket as them. And if you were, a, if you had a low level account and you played somebody with upper developed clubs out on this hole right here. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. You definitely want to play the you definitely want to play with people that have better stuff. Because there's a much better chance that they're gonna achieve the goal. It's about a one ring pull, it's 2.1 per ring. I'm gonna make sure I got every little bit of forward distance. You can hit it fairly straightforward and just a little teeny bit of overpower. Hitting it perfect. I'm just trying to clip that rough out there and bleed off into the fairway. Right there and just bleed off into the fairway. That puts me in short iron range. Now, does that shot look like it's fraught with danger? You bet. <laughs> but you can get up and down from the sand there if you have a Spitfire. I'm not sure about other about other sandwiches, but I, I'm pretty sure you can get up and down with pretty much any sandwich. But with a Spitfire, you can definitely get up and down. And the reason I know that is because down in here, you're with your long iron, and a Spitfire is a long iron. Seen a lot of stuff in social media last week about spitfires and i'm just i'm absolutely i'm i'm amazed at how many people were bad mouthing the spitfire last week so i went and looked the club up and i think when it gets to level two it gets six backspin and it stayed and then at level three it still got six backspin i don't think it gets any more until it gets to level four and it takes a while to get it to level four but as soon as it gets to level two and it gets that six backspin that is huge that's like a six tenths of a bar right and people go, well, that sucks. That's 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 crap. Six tenths of a bar of backspin on a Spitfire is a lot of backspin. 
And there's Max Club. There's my Max Hornet right there. So I'm in Max Club. It's 1.1 per ring at Max. I'm going to dial that sucker right up to the cup. Let's make sure we're, we're at the cup. 1.1 per ring. There's 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to do a three ring pull. So there's 2-2. Two, two. That leaves me eight. Do about a ring, about two and three quarter rings. Is that right? Somewhere in that neighborhood. Hitting it perfect. See if we can get in the cup. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Rocking it out. Nice and easy. Just getting it in the hole. All right, that was hole number five. Trying to put my notes together. So I've been working on these holes with my practice account, and I, I practiced on Monday, I practiced on Tuesday, I qualified on Wednesday. Um, I went and practiced today, and I'm just working on my notes, trying to get them down. And so I've been working in my in my odd out account, really still trying to – it's hard in my odd out account to get three and seven down because I've got better clubs in my 77 account. So – anything I work out on those holes, but these other holes, I have the same club. So I've been trying to get these other holes dialed in while I'm really on this account. I'm super, super focused on three and seven. Um, the rest of this stuff is all gravy and I'm, I'm getting practice from my odd odd account. And so I'm able to work, work the numbers on there, but here I'm really three and seven is the, are the holes. All right. That was hole number five of the 2020 Winter Major and the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.